Hi everyone, Savannah Tree Foundation Field Manager Jake Henry here and today I don't have a particular species I'm talking about. I'm going to look at a couple different ones uh, but I wanted to talk about leaves and how they grow differently on different plants and in different settings. So um, here we've got an American sycamore or Platanus occidentalis and when they're young with these new leaves they can be pretty small and they can really grow quite large. That's pretty standard for the species. They get these really big leaves to try to catch as much sunlight as possible. Um, certain species will actually grow leaves differently in different settings. So you can see our lovely little trailer here. We're out at the office. Um, I'm just going to walk over here to this uh, tulip poplar. Uh, it's also called Liriodendron tulipifera. And you can see these leaves aren't, aren't real big. They're, they're a good size leaf. Definitely a lot smaller than our American sycamore. Um, really iconic leaves also, super easy to identify. But what I wanted to point out was we've got one here that's growing out in the sun, kind of really exposed, getting lots and lots of sunlight, and it has those smaller leaves. But we're going to walk over here, sort of on the edge of the property, and we've got a tulip poplar that's growing in the shade. And these leaves are huge. So you can see here, this is at least twice the size, if not three times the size of that other tulip poplar leaf. So some species will actually grow larger leaves in shaded environments. It's a really cool adaptation that plants will do. Uh, you know, plants respond to all kinds of stimuli. So when I say stimuli, I mean water, light, soil space, all these things affect how trees grow. And this is a great example of how light affects how trees grow. So when it's really shaded like this, this tree is really just trying to catch as much sunlight as it can. It's, it's really shaded out. You know, this is kind of a messy area. We've got some mulberries growing over. I think there's some sycamores back there. Um, so it's really pretty overgrown and it's shaded a lot of this tree. So these leaves that are down low here are just trying to catch as much sunlight as possible. So they're they're pretty big and really just trying to take up as much as they can. Whereas the tulip poplar over here, we'll go back to this, so now you can really see it's, it's all the way out here, exposed in the sunlight. And these leaves are getting lots and lots of sunlight throughout the day. So they really don't need to be too big to catch enough sunlight. So they're getting pretty much everything they need with a nice small leaf. So they don't need to catch as much sunlight, so they don't need to waste the energy making big leaves. You know, it's always a sort of a balance of energy. They don't want to spend too much energy making these big leaves if they don't need them. Um, but if you're really shaded and you just got to get that sunlight, you have to spend the energy to make those big leaves. So just a really interesting uh, comparison I wanted to show today with leaf morphology and how they change. And a lot of species will do that. It's not specific to tulip poplar. Um, a lot of trees will grow those bigger leaves when they need to catch more sunlight. So thank you all for tuning in and we'll be making lots more videos. So stay tuned. Take care.